please find your physical stillness. Make sure you're supported. We all need support these days. Today, it might be as simple as finding support from your chair and allowing yourself to accept that. And turning inward to your breath now. Just as we discussed last week, you're resting your minds, attention on the breath, allowing the thoughts to just come and go, kind of like clouds floating across the screen of your mind. If your mind gets stuck on a thought, that's okay. Remind yourself gently, your breath is always there. Please draw your hands together at your heart center. Gently press your palms together. Slide your thumbs a little bit up the midline of your body. We'll start by joining. Please add your voice to mine, the sound of OM three times. Breathing in. Om. Inhale and exhale, release your hands to your left. Allow your eyelids to open, come forward please towards the front of your chair and sit up nice and tall. Find your seated mountain pose with your knees directly over your ankles, your shoulders over your hips so you're not leaning forward or rounding. A nice long spine you can imagine or even take a lock of your hair and pull up from the back of your head. And then maintaining that nice upright posture will add a little movement, arms down alongside the body, waiting for the inhalation, joining with movement, lifting. As the exhalation begins, join with movement, twisting, inhaling, and exhaling to the other side. Nice gentle flow as we gradually warm the body. You can have your hand on either knee in the front as you come into your twist, maybe experiment with both. See how it might feel different depending on which knee you're Resting on. Decide which knee you'll remain in contact with and pause. Inhaling, come on back up. And second side, of course, continuing to focus on the breath. Even though the posture is still, the breath is flowing. 
Maybe repeating to yourself, rising, falling, as you breathe in and out. Inhale, lift up, and exhaling, release. Bring the arms back down alongside the body. We're gonna do one more thing from the chairs today. So for this, I invite you to turn to the side of your chair and you're gonna come into a bit of a lunge. So knee is still over ankle in the front and your other knee is either down towards the earth or you can give yourself a little bit more stretch by sliding your knee back. So your quadriceps are getting a nice stretch. You can rest one hand on the back of the chair and the other arm is simply going to lift up and rotate back. Lift up and rotate back. And you can see that I'm turning my torso in the direction of the arm as it strokes back. And let's reverse that. Feel free to lift and lower the gaze, following your fingers with your gaze, if you would like to. The next time you bring your arm down, keep your hand on the back of the chair, lift that outside arm and come into a little side tilt towards the chair. So I know you can't see me that well. Here's what it would look like from another view. Tilting towards the chair back. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, release the arm down. We'll take that lunge sequence from the other side. So come around to the second side. Set yourself up, knee over ankle, and your other leg can either be in this sort of dropped position or you can slide it back for more stretch. And let's lift and lower the arm. Lift. Exhale, lower. And reversing. The next time you lower the arm down, make sure your other hand is secure on the chair back. Lift that arm straight up towards the sky and now tilting towards the back of the chair, coming into your side stretch. And coming back to upright, releasing your arm, coming back to face forward, seated mountain again, but scoot your feet back towards the legs of the chair a bit. Place your hand, your thumbs in your hips crease. Hinge forward with your long spine. Feel free to use the chair or let your arms be free. Inhale, exhale, come all the way up to stand. Arms overhead pose, exhaling, release. Bring the arms down alongside your body. I'll come to the side of the chair. And we're just gonna do that a few times, moving in and out of arms overhead pose. So arms alongside the body, palms turn out. Inhale, lift. Palms can meet or not. Exhaling, release. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, nice full but unforced release. A few more times.
And this last time as you lift, let's, you can't see me, interlace your right wrist with your left hand and come over into another side tilt. You're letting your hip reach out towards the side as you hold your wrist and pull it. Finding that nice long side stretch. Come on back up to upright, second side, interlace the other wrist, pull it up, find the length, side stretch now. And inhale, come up, exhale, release the arms back down alongside the body. And we're going to focus on the warrior poses today. So I always like to end my um, sessions with a warrior review. And if any time is uh, asking us to be strong like warriors, it's right now. Between the pandemic and the election news, we're strong like warriors facing the seat of the chair. Hips are facing. Back toes are turned a little bit in. This is warrior one. As we bend the forward knee, bend that forward knee and bring your arms up into cactus position. This is cactus arms. As you straighten the leg, draw the arms towards each other. And exhaling, bend, go wide with the arms. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Next time as you exhale, pause, arms are wide and lift the arms up towards the sky. A brief pause here. Of course, always fine to give yourself a break. You can have your hands on the back of the chair or just lift one arm. Lengthen that leg. And now we're gonna turn into warrior two. So on the same side, before we switch sides, your hips are turning away from the back of the chair. Back toes might turn out a little bit more. Hips are even. Take a nice full breath in. And as you exhale, bend the knee, arms in a T position. And release. Ah, exhaling T position. You can turn your head or keep it in neutral. The next time you bend, gazing out over fingertips, warrior two. As best you can, keeping the shoulders relaxed so they're not hunching up. And you can even take a look back at your back hand. Make sure it's pretty much in line with the front hand. Balance in the body in warrior two. And releasing, come on back down. Now I'm going to give you an example of what we'll be doing more of, I think, in um, gentle yoga flow by connecting these two poses or postures that we just practiced. So putting together warrior one and warrior two. If you would turn a little bit towards your chair again, we're going to bend the knee, lift the arms. Right now, open it out into warrior two. Bring that back arm down, face the chair again, warrior one. Ah, nice opening here for warrior two. Back arm down, both arms lift, warrior one. 
and release. Bring the arms down, straighten the legs, pause for a moment. Breathe in, breathe out, rising and falling of the breath. And second side. So we're starting with warrior one, hips face the chair for warrior one. Bending into that, bending into the forward knee, Back toes turned a little bit more in than out. Arms and cactus. And straighten leg, bring arms towards each other. Go wide, bend knee. And lengthen, bend, go wide. Exhaling. Into your warrior one, pause here, lengthen the arms. Those arms could be a little bit more forward. You know the options. Exhale, release, bring your arms down, straighten your leg. And now you're turning your hips a little bit more outward. So we're moving towards our warrior two position. Back toes turn out a little bit more. And you can experiment with making sure that your hips are even. And then bending into the knee, finding warrior two. And straightening. Warrior two, lengthening. Find your own breath pattern. I like to exhale as I bend. That feels most natural to me. But you find what feels right in your own body with your own breath. And just one more like this. Pausing in your warrior two. I'm gonna come take a quick look, pause. You're paused in your warrior two. And straightening your leg. You can all turn all 10 toes forward for a moment. And then we're gonna put those two warriors together. Turning a little bit more. So here you are in your turned out position. You're gonna turn a little bit more inward again. Maybe not all the way to warrior one. And we'll do our little combination flow. Bending the knee, lifting the arms, open up to warrior two. Bring that arm down and around, warrior one. Open it up, nice big inhalation, warrior two. Back arm down and forward, lift. And warrior two. Last time, arm comes down, both lift up, warrior one, and release. Bring your hands down, turn your toes forward, heel toe, heel toe, back to your upright mountain pose. Just as when we were in the chair, you're thinking about shoulders over hips. Maybe you're reminding yourself to lift up so the back of the neck is long. Take that lock of your hair, don't pull too hard. 
breath rising and falling. Let's take a stretch. So we'll take a stretch in our chair dog, moving your hips back, bending your knees, everyone. Keeping the spine lengthened and you can come into a straighter legged position if that feels pleasant in the backs of the legs. We're stretching out the hamstring muscles here. Or if you prefer the bent knee position, pause here. In either position, your arms are long. You're not collapsing at the wrists and you're pressing down into the top of the chair. And everyone softening the knees just a little bit so that you can step forward, come all the way up to stand. And we're gonna move into warrior three now. So we don't do this one quite as often, but I think it's familiar to many of you. You might wanna have a blanket on your chair if you're someone who has blocks available, that might be handy. Or don't worry about it, just use the sides of the chair. So for warrior three, we're facing towards the back of the chair and you're stepping your, let's step the inside leg. This would be your right leg forward and your left foot steps back. So you can see now that I'm sort of balancing the weight between my two feet. For warrior three, we want to bring the weight forward onto the forward leg. So that back foot and lift, which is what's going to happen in a moment. Let's all do this together. I think it's pretty straightforward. So hips facing this back of the chair, weight forward, hands on the side of the chair. Come forward just a little bit, enough so that when you lift the leg, you can feel yourself in one long line. And we'll just lift one arm, and release it. Lift the other arm and release it. And now holding the sides of the chair, lifting the leg, coming down just a little bit. Pause here. And maybe you don't want to lift your leg. That's cool. You could be here. You could be here. Some of us are lifting the back leg. Some of us may choose to go a little bit farther down. If it's available, you can place your hands on the seat of the chair. But the emphasis here isn't, oh, how far can I go? If that makes you come into this position that's not in alignment. We want long line from heel to crown of head. Never go more deeply than is appropriate. Never go into something that takes you out of alignment. Breathe. And bring yourself back up. Stand up tall, facing the chair, mountain pose again. Breathe. We'll take that to the other side. So you can just switch your legs. Opposite foot comes forward. For most of us, that would be the left foot. And all 10 toes are facing towards the chair. Feel yourself balanced first between your two legs. The weight is kind of centered. And then switch your center of balance, so you're on your forward leg. And just a nice little lift, lots of breath, one arm, and release. Lift, inhale, other arm, and release. Now, if you choose to, you're lifting that back leg a little bit, 
Hinging forward, finding that long line from crown to heel. And this might be where you're staying or with the foot on the floor. Some of you are sliding down, maybe just an inch or two. Breathe. Some of you are going a little deeper. One long line, warrior three. And release the foot to the earth. Come back up carefully. And bring both feet together. Mountain pose again. Imagine you're pulling up on that lock of your hair. And we are going to come into our balance sequence for today. Standing right next to your chair or your furniture, or maybe you don't need it. I'll do this fairly quickly, so just to show you, so you can judge whether or not you'd like to be using a piece of furniture or not. So home base is hands at the heart center. And again, I'll just demonstrate this fairly quickly. We'll start with foot on the floor. We'll come out into a lengthened position. We'll bring that leg forward, arms overhead. Bend the knee, hands at the heart, back to home base. So we'll do that maybe one or two times on the floor, and then I'll give you the option to repeat it off the floor if you want to. Hands at the heart center, please, mountain pose. Breathe. No need to anticipate. Resting the mind on the here and now. On the breath, rising and falling. And let's take just our little baby foundational tree knee out to the side. Arms out, leg out. Legs stay straight, moves forward, arms overhead. Feel free to use one hand on the chair, especially during the transitions. That might be helpful. Bend the knee, hands at the heart. And back to mountain pose. Let's do that again. Same thing in a grounded position. Tree pose. Extend long. Leg forward, arms overhead. Bend knee. Back to mountain pose. And now option. Always think of it as a choice that you can make for yourself. No have tos, maybe a little higher tree. Out to the side. Leg forward, arms overhead. Bend knee, crane pose. Ah, let's just hang out here for a breath or two. Make sure that base foot is energized. It's not just flopping. And releasing home base mountain pose. Let's come around to the other side. And hands at the heart. Little baby tree pose. We're staying on the floor initially. Out to the side. Bring it forward, arms overhead. Bend the knee, hands to the heart. Home base, mountain pose. On the floor again, knee out. Arms or arm to the side. Overhead, 
Bend knee. Mountain pose. And now, your option. A little higher tree, maybe. Arms in a T, leg out. And bring it forward. Ah, hands to the heart, crane pose, energized. Left foot, heart lifting. And release. Mountain pose, arms alongside the body. We're going to come down onto hands and knees. So if you're not a kneeler, you can do all of this as if you were on hands and knees. So this is for non kneelers. And I think you'll be able to just adapt everything that we're doing. From hands and knees. So if you are coming down to hands and knees, please do that now. You're staying standing, hands on the chair seat, and find table pose, your table pose. And we're finding that length in the spine once again, hands under shoulders. Breathe. And let's take some cat cow stretches. Tuck your toes, arc your spine, gaze slightly upward, and come back to a neutral spine. Inhaling, arc your spine. Exhaling, come back to neutral. Some of you, people without back issues, are going to come into a rounded position. Others are coming back to neutral. So maybe you're rounding. Everyone, or almost everyone can safely arc the spine on the inhale. And this last time, find the pose that you'd like to hold. So that could either be the rounded position, tailbone dropping, head dropping, you can look towards your navel, or maybe it feels better to find the arc and hold the arc, you choose. And everyone do come back to neutral. Let's come into a lunge position, please. So you're bringing your outside foot, your right foot forward. And just like when we were in Warrior One and Warrior Three, our hips are facing towards the chair. Feel free to hold on a little bit if you'd like to. So nice and upright, shoulders are still over hips. And then we're going to nudge the chair forward Find that long stretch on the opposite thigh and lift the arms up towards the sky. Come on back to a more neutral upright position. And a little movement of the hips forward, arms lift. Coming back to upright. One more time, we'll hold this position, getting the stretch in the big muscles of the back thigh. Feel free to release hands to the chair if you prefer. Breathing in and out, rising and falling breath. Now everyone, please come back to that kind of more upright neutral position. Again, knee is over ankle. You can keep the chair touching the knee. That can help with balance a little bit. And we're gonna come into an upright twist. So lifting both arms up overhead. Sweep the inside arm. This is your 
left arm across the front thigh, other arm to your low back, and turn into a little bitty twist. Hand can be on the thigh or the chair might give you more stability. Make sure the shoulders are working towards balance. You can even nudge that thigh in a little bit with your hand in towards the midline so it's not collapsing and relaxing outward. And unwinding, we're going to do one more thing. This is a hamstring stretch. So you're tucking your back toes, you're extending your front leg long, you're letting your hips release back, and you're walking your hands to wherever they will find themselves so that you're feeling that nice long stretch in your extended leg. People who are standing, another way to do this would be to use the chair. You can have your foot on the chair, bend your knees and same thing for you. Hips work back, hips work back. I'll turn to the other side. Hips work back, knee bends, very similar. So working in your pose of choice, Getting that stretch in those hamstring muscles. Coming back up to the lunge position. Find neutrality, both knees or both feet down on the earth. Be in mountain pose, kneeling or standing. And we'll come to the other side. You can obviously just keep your chair where it is. I'm switching mine. And coming into your lunge on the second side, sometimes it's easier to get there by bringing your leg out to the side and then working it forward. So finding your upright position first. And then nudging the knee a little bit forward, hips forward. Arms can lift, or just one arm, or neither. And releasing back to neutral. Inhaling, arms lift. Back to neutral as you exhale. And let's do this one more time. You can see I have my back toes untucked. That puts less pressure on the knee. And let's hold our forward position. Getting this stretch in the back thigh. Some of you won't be using your arms. This is exactly what you could be doing from standing. More work from standing because there's more balance involved. And then working yourself back to an upright position. Knee comes over ankle again. Spine nice and long. And again, you can have your knee in contact with the seat of the chair. And we're coming into our twist. Lifting arms. Inside arm, your right arm is crossing over to touch the outside of the thigh or the chair. And you're turning. And you're breathing. The breath might feel quite a bit different, especially now that we've been moving a lot.
And the breath is usually very different in a twisted position as well, which isn't bad or wrong. It's actually very strengthening for all of our breathing systems to be in a twist. Yes, nice. Oh, I can see a few of you. That's helpful. Nice. Sweep the arms back up overhead as you come out of your twist. Release your arms down. And we'll come into that little forward fold. So same foot is forward, don't switch. Getting that hamstring stretch. Now tucking the back toes, if that's okay for you. Leg lengthens in the front, hips reach back. Toes are up towards the sky. Spine is long. What we're avoiding, of course, is, oh, look how close I can get to the floor, but this is very schlumpy. Keeping that nice length in your spine. Breathe. And again, people, standing can have the foot on the chair, bend the knee and hinge forward. One more breath here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release the knee to the earth. Stand up tall and just for a breath or two, stand up or kneel up tall, bring your hands back behind you, fingertips facing down. Give yourself a little pressure downward as you lift your heart. Gentle little arc in the back of the spine. I don't have a lot of movement here. Someday I'll have to do a screen share and so show what that arc could look like. But really focusing on that place between your shoulder blades. Can you move that part of your spine more? And coming back up to upright, release. We are going to make our way down onto the floor. And I think given the time, we will just come directly onto our backs. So coming down onto your back body, take your time getting there. And this will all be very familiar. I don't think that I need to take the time to demonstrate. I'm staying seated. So if you're a seated person, you can just follow me with your eyes. If you're a reclining person, you can follow me with your voice. So we're going to work into our flowing bridge sequence. Planting soles of the feet, knees are bent, feet are firm. Let's just lift all 10 toes up off the earth. Just the toes. Spread them nice and wide and release them back down. Lift the heels up off the earth, just the heels. Toes stay grounded. Release those heels back down to the earth. Just do that one more time, lifting toes. Releasing toes, lifting heels. Releasing heels. Now, adding the flow of the arms. Lifting toes as you lift the arms back behind you. Exhaling, flow it down, toes and arms. Let's do that again. Lifting heels, lifting arms. And releasing, coming back down. For people on the ground, this time you're keep keeping the entire length of your foot grounded and you're lifting your hips and your arms at the same time. That's really challenging, almost impossible to do in the chair. So instead, 
You could lift just your hips. And we're doing this with the breath. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling, flowing down. Flowing down as we slow down the movement. Another option in the chair would be to be upright, to lift and lengthen. So continuing for one more cycle, however you're working. People on the floor, please come into your held bridge pose, lifting hips, but allowing the arms to be alongside the body. If you're in the chair, you're lifting your sternum up or adding the hips. Holding your bridge pose for a few moments. Everyone, please releasing hips back down to the earth. If you're on the floor, coming to upright if you're in the chair. Everyone still has their knees bent and we're gonna go wider with the feet. You're on your back, you're as wide as the mat, your feet are still on the earth. We're just gonna windshield wiper the knees. Exhaling over to one side. Coming back to center, inhale. Exhale, drop those knees. They both move over to the other side. Inhale, back to center. And exhale. Inhale. Back and forth a few times. The next time you drop your knees over to the left, pause. You're on the floor, your arms can be in a T position. That might feel nice and open. In the chair, one hand can come to the front. Feel free to be in a position where your head is gazing or your eyes are gazing up towards the ceiling if you're on the floor. Or you can turn your head over opposite shoulder. Coming back to a centered position, especially for people on the floor, you might need to adjust the position of your hips so they feel balanced again but your feet are still wide, knees and ankles in alignment. Now we're dropping those knees over to the other side and pausing here. Head can be neutral, eyes towards sky or looking over opposite shoulder. If we were doing this live for people on the floor, I might come around and put a blanket under your lower knee that might feel supportive. Feel free to do that. And coming back to a neutral position, heel toe, your feet back to more of a standard alignment, hips distance apart. And we'll close with one of my favorites, Apanasana. So I think most of you know this. I just use the Sanskrit because it's the easiest way to telegraph um, the, what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't know it, on the floor, you're lifting your feet, you're placing your hands on your knees. 
and you're bending your elbows, drawing thighs towards chest, keeping hands on knees, lengthening arms, just little back and forth movement. If you're in the chair, that's challenging. You can get the same kind of effect by hinging forward and lifting up. So working into your apanasa, whether on the floor or in the chair. Really, this is all about connecting with breath, getting a little gentle massage of your internal organs. Can feel very nice on the low back as well. Finally, everyone coming to stillness, finding your pose for relaxation today. In the chair or on the floor, I think by this point, everyone knows what pose will work best for them for relaxation and actually enhance that feeling of relaxation. So a little support under the knees can be very nice if you're reclining if you're in the chair, it's nice to have the support of a chair back. Close your eyes, please. Find your physical stillness. And for these next few moments, I'd like you to observe where you feel the breath in your body. body probably moves very subtly as you breathe. Maybe you're noticing some sensations at the tip of the nostrils. Maybe you're noticing some movement in your chest or your belly or your shoulders. For the next few moments, notice where you feel your breath. And then we'll add just a little bit of guidance, placing one hand, doesn't matter which one, on your chest, upper chest, the other hand on your belly, your low belly. Don't press, just let them rest there. And continue to observe, where do you feel the movement? Can you begin to direct just a little bit more of the movement into your belly? So you'll feel movement under the hand resting there. The chest is still going to move. That's where your lungs are, but relative stillness. Gentle expansion, almost a sense of unfolding as you breathe in. And a release as you breathe out. Gentle expand, breathe in. Gentle release, breathe out. You can continue to keep your hands in this position or place both hands on your low belly or have your arms alongside the body. If you're seated, it might feel best to have the hands resting in your lap. And for the next few moments, body relaxed. Breath at a natural rhythm. Mind continues to focus on how your body 
changes and moves as you breathe. Allow your breathing now to grow more conscious, more attentive, a little bit deeper. Bring movement into ankles and wrists, fingers and toes. If you're on the floor, bending your knees, rolling over to your side, don't be in a hurry, please. Rest there for a moment with your head supported. If you're seated, coming away from your chair back. People on the floor now gradually using the strength of your arms, let your head be the last part of your body to come back up to upright. Everyone sitting upright. Draw hands together at your heart center, please. Press palms. Slide the thumbs up and we'll close with one arm together, breathing in. Oh. One more nice full inhalation to fill with the energy and peace of yoga. Thank you all for joining me for this Yoga for Healthy Aging series. Next week, we're going right into gentle flow yoga. So it will be very similar. If you have any questions about that, you can unmute yourselves. And I know Michelle is with us. She can answer the tech questions and anything you might want to know about Schedule Plus, I can answer any questions about the class. <laughs>